since the concept and the theme for this Pirelli calendar 2024 is timeless, what does it mean to you? It was a playground, like a field. And so I, I'm looking at these people and, and, and I'm thinking of like, how can I best, you know, bring them out into like different characters that I see them in. So this is like my movie and I just made sure I, I created roles for them and then created sets that, you know, best fits what they are to me. exciting when I got the news that I'd been selected uh, for the calendar and um, a surprise, uh, something I never would have expected. An honor. It's definitely such a huge honor for me. Uh, for me, I think it's important to um, have meaningful collaboration and I totally love what you do. I'm much more curious and interested in, you know, what we can do together. I've never been a Ghana before. I always wanted to come to Africa, so this was like a big thing for me on top of the fact that I get to be in such company of like such icons that have yeah. you know come before me it's awesome though it's <laughs> awesome it's a pretty calendar you know what i mean it's something that we've grown up looking at i think it's uh, an incredible statement of the sign of the times you being who you are and what you've done to pop culture and for photography and for africa i would have been honored to be asked to do it but it's even more special that you asked me so he's got this very specific vision of blackness, of Africanness, of african Americanness. you know, this very specific thing that he is, is doing and trying to communicate. Apart from the fact that he's an owner, you are bringing the calendar to a, a different dimension. This is historical in the sense of Pirelli shooting with a photographer and creative, an artist from Africa. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'm very happy to be here. So, yes, the African continent, but the Middle East continent, the South American continent. Yeah. This has given hope to so many that, you know, you don't have to be a, a big giant to be able to get a chance to shoot Pirelli. <laughs> you know, the way the synesthesia work is, as soon as you mention a word, I just see it. Visually, in my mind, that's what I see. So if you mention Monday, I'll see it as brown. If you, if you mention Tuesday, I'll see it as orange. Sunday is green. I say that, and I've said my whole life, every single human being has their color. And if not a color, a hue. Everyone you think of in your life, you can give them a hue. My hue is electric blue. Is green. Blue and black. Purple. Yellow. Hands down. A shade of red. Red, because I'm a rose, you know? Yeah, yeah definitely red, you know? It's just, I feel like it's a color of passion, mm. a color of love, and I love love. And I think it's just the, the color of what I am and like what I represent, and so. Yeah. yeah, definitely red. Blue to project yourself on the happiness of life and mm. connected with entertainment, commitment. And black, simple, because black is the future. I think green, it's a really powerful color. You know, there's uh, it's sort of life, there's evergreen. Papa made me purple dresses. I've always loved purple, that's just my color. What does community mean to you? For me, community is everything. It's a chosen group, a fellowship. Community is another word for family. Is what I need in order to create, right? Coming from Nigeria, African woman, like community is so important, especially when, as a woman, you're raising children, you know, you're told that it takes a village to raise a child. I do believe that the success of Africa, I would say, and, and eventually Ghana. It's through the education on, on the numbers of kids that are going to have access to education, strong education. Mm. I'm a member of the black community. I think not necessarily just because of who I was born or the skin that I have or whatever, but I choose to stand in that history and to pay my own life forward for the other black Americans who come after me. I believe that, you know, once you manage to build that with the community, you uh, rest assured that, you know, you will live forever. And community for me is finding those people, people like yourself. We all bring together and empower each other because when we empower each other through our um, expression and our freedom, we give back to the culture. Since the concept and the theme for this 
Pirelli calendar 2024 is timeless. What does it mean to you? You know, when you make film or you take a picture or you make a song or whatever, when you see it, like while you're making it, you see it once and you know that's it. That's what timeless means to me. Timeless to me means standing up in history in a way that extends beyond yourself. Mm -hmm. Non-linear. Time is non-existent. It's just life. That's what timeless means to me. Life. Life. If you were allowed to have a conversation with your younger self and share like a timeless piece of advice, what would it be? I would love to tell my younger self is, your voice is your superpower. Do not be afraid of anything. I love that question. You ready for the answer? Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Nothing. I'll take advice from him because grown-ups are always giving advice to younger kids. Grown-ups go to sleep to dream. Kids dream on the playground. And life is a playground. From my point of view, I want to pass on my life and how it was for me and my experience. And and I'm going to do so. You know, I want to continue to spread opportunities. Maintain, embrace, grab on to a sense of faith and hope. Hope and optimism is an action. It's not just an emotion, but it's an action. And it's a very powerful action. My dad taught me two things that are the most valuable to me is when you're having conversations with anyone, no matter who it is, always look them in the eye and watch their eyes when they're talking. The second piece of advice my dad gave me was, do not be the guy that has everything. Be the guy that doesn't need anything. What I'd love to pass on to the next generation is power. I and mean, there's the youngest inaugural poet in history. And what I live by is I may be the first, but I refuse to be the last. There is no use in busting open a door if it stays closed behind you. Mm -hmm.